Hi. I am um, not feeling so great, but I thought I would share some more about um, my health. Uh, since I can't think much beyond that when I'm feeling bad. Um, the Epstein-Barr, chronic active Epstein-Barr that I have has really got me, got a hold on me the last few days. Um, usually when it gets this bad, it getting better is right around the corner, so maybe tomorrow I will feel better. Um, but I have been thinking about um, how this has progressed over the last four years since I moved to Florida and retired and all. Um, four years ago I was a lot more active and now I don't have the energy to do what I was doing four years ago. So that's not a good thing. Um, I was going to um, talk about other things, but I, I, it's the brain fog gets really bad. Um, you get these swollen glands over here. When it's real bad, I get the swollen glands. And uh, sometimes very, very slight um, sore throat. I don't have that right now. Um, minor headache, a lot of brain fog, where can't hardly think, can't hardly talk. Um, everything is an effort to even flip over in the bed is an effort. Pick up my cell phone is an effort. Um, don't have much appetite because I'm not active. I try. Uh, yesterday I went to my water aerobics, but I was only able to do 30 minutes in slow motion. Um, the whole routine is almost 90 minutes. And I have not been able to do the whole routine um, probably since last summer. Um, a lot of days you can't because over the winter here in Central Florida, lots of times the... Um, Weather is not warm enough to be uh, in the pool. Um, but there's usually a couple days every month that I could do it. And I did the past several years I've been here. But this year, um, even with my wetsuit, it, it's harder. Everything's harder. I don't walk as much as I used to. Um, everything's harder. And I just changed my Medicare provider, which might have been a mistake. I'm not sure because the other one I had was offering me someone to come over and clean my house and drive me to appointments and help me with grocery shopping. But I switched because the network of physicians was so limited. Um, I had to drive farther than I should have to go to any specialist. So, and also the um, uh, eye care, dental, and um, um, vi the vision, dental, and I don't know what's the other one. Anyway, they are not as good um, with that other pro plan. So I, I got a new plan, um, just a little bit different. We'll see how it goes. Um, bigger network. Uh, I went with United Healthcare. I was with the um, Blue Cross Blue Shield Freedom Medicare, but United Healthcare with the AARP. Um, I think in the long run it might be better. Uh, definitely more providers, so that's a good thing. Um, so I was. Uh, mentioning um, how crappy I feel. Sorry, I don't even feel like talking to anybody, but I haven't um, done much for the last three days. And I like doing this. I want to finish my story, but sometimes it's an effort to get on here and talk. Um, so I'm in my second marriage, and uh, when I married, I'm calling him Mark, when I married him, I was 42. He was in his late 30s. Um, by the way, I know I look like I look dopey, like 
I'm on drugs, but I'm not. I don't take any drugs. I do the cannabis only at bedtime. Um, legal user. Uh, I take my thyroid pill in the morning and um, Claritin when I need to, and that's the extent of the drugs I take. Uh, I have no pain. I'm going to go to that right now because um, when I was married to Mark, now he was really into sports um, and had all the boys doing something. Um, but Justin and Jerry, his two boys were very um, uh, athletically inclined, very talented, um, just like their dad. Uh, Mark, um, he was a black belt karate. He had a dojo. He did. He played um, baseball and football very well when he was younger. And he loved to golf when I was with him. And he loved to watch sports, any kind of sports. He would watch it on TV. Uh, very different from Bob. My first husband didn't care at all about sports. Um, so... Uh, the boys, Justin was, um, they both, Justin and Jerry were both um, in football and baseball. And uh, Justin was the black belt karate uh, champion when he was 10 years old, international, um, uh, had like over 300 trophies, uh, too much to dust. <laughs> and, um, when he was um, a soft, uh, freshman in high school, he was actually on the varsity baseball team. He was pitching at 90 miles an hour. He was MVP. Um, it was really awesome. I used to go to his games a lot. And um, Jerry also played baseball and football. He was also very good, and he was um, he excelled in wrestling. In high school, he became Georgia State wrestling champ, and um, I used to go to those matches also and some of his games, and uh, that was pretty exciting um, to see him. You know, in the state competition. Uh, he won third place in the state, um, which was so awesome. And uh, um, my boys, uh, they were like their dad. They were not competitive in sports. They didn't care about it. They were perfectly capable. I mean, they were strong and healthy and, you know, they could, you know, catch and throw and run and all that stuff. But um didn't care much for it, so they got into weightlifting. Um, and they could do that in our basement. And they did like to play basketball, probably best, but they just did it for fun. They didn't want to join a team or anything. And they did have a little interest in golf, but um, never really pursued it. But Mark um, tried to encourage them, wanted to help them get into sports, but they didn't have that much interest. Uh, they did like um, riding their bicycle. They liked, um, uh, you know, swimming and all that kind of thing, uh, hiking. Um, so I was in my early 40s. I was 42 when I married him. He was in his late 30s, a couple of years old, younger than me. And when I was, um, after I was married to him, I started playing softball with my job, uh, IHG, Holiday Inn Worldwide. Um, I was on the finance team. Um, I played first base, and I, um, I could hit the, uh, uh, um, I was good for a line drive between second and third. And um, I was a good runner. Um, sometimes I would be catcher when there wasn't anybody else to catch. I didn't like catching. I liked first base. Um, I wasn't a great thrower, so first base was good for me. Um, 
that was fun. I really liked it. And we, we, you know, it was a co-ed um, league and we would play against other team, uh, other departments like finance would play against marketing or whatever. Um, and then I also started playing tennis at, in my subdivision. I w was able to join the um, Alta Atlanta uh, Tennis Association. Um, I was low level Alta. I was new. I took lessons and I really liked it a lot. And we played matches and um, I was really enjoying that. And I know I would have got better, except I started having a lot of pain. At age 45, um, everything started hurting bad. My hands, uh, feet knees, um, elbows, everything. Um, I was diagnosed with the osteoarthritis. I started going to a rheumatologist. I got on the Bextra, which they took off the market a couple years later because it was dangerous or something. Took that for a few years. Then I got on Celebrex and took that for a while. Then when I was 55, 10 years later, I was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis and um, the blood test they took, a uh, special state-of-the-art Vectra blood test, I was in the 95 percentile, which means that I had only 5% of people tested had it worse than me. It was bad. I had a lot of pain. I, w I had some really excru excruciating pain in my hands, my fingers. My fingers got really bad. Um, and the, the rheumatologist at age 55 told me that she saw me in a wheelchair by the time I was 60. Well, now I'm almost 70 and I've never been in a wheelchair. So don't listen to that crap. But I did, um, I refused the, um, the strong medication they wanted. She wanted me to take, um, the daily injections, um, with the methothrexate, which is a chemo drug. And I read about it. I refused because the side effects sounded worse than the disease. Um, you've heard of them like Humira and Embryol, those kind. I said, no, no, thank you. I also refused the, um, um, the medications for, uh, not osteoporosis, the thing you get before that, the, um, I forget what it's called, when they do the bone scan and they tell you you're going to get osteoporosis, you need to go on this drug. And the drug might, um, like, <laughs> do horrible things to you. So I refuse that also. And um, Anyway, uh, now I'm, I am pain-free. Um, praise God. And... Um, I attribute it to him. I attribute it to uh, the stem cells, which are from God. <laughs> um, I got two doses five years ago, and um, my my rheumatoid arthritis has gone out of my blood. Last two blood tests I had, and I have no pain anymore. Um, and I'm sure the cannabis helps because it's anti-inflammatory, and that's what arthritis pain is all about. I also I'm on a, I, I'm on a really um, healthy diet, not a special diet. I just eat healthy. I don't, I eat very little sugar and, um, just try to eat natural, healthy foods, organic, non-GMO uh, mostly. And, um, try to do good like that. Uh, I do, um, indulge occasionally in just something I feel like eating, but, um, not often. And um, I was looking today, see, when I feel bad, I start doing more research because doctors don't know crap about this disease. They don't care about it because they call it a rare disease. There's no foundations or anything out there for it. And um, I mean, I'm just glad my doctor tested me for it. Um, but uh, I. When I feel better, 
um, I kind of don't do anything special, but when I'm feeling this bad, then I start researching. I go on my support group, on the um, Facebook support group and stuff. And this medical medium out there, um, I was looking into him today, and um, uh, he recommends juicing, which I've tried, and I know it's good for you, but when you feel as bad as I do, you can't do it. It's just too much. It takes too much energy to be, first of all, you got to go to the store, which is a really big deal just to go buy your stuff. Then you got to get it home and put it away. Then you got to wash it and chop it and uh, juice it. And then you got to clean up after that. It's like way too much uh, when you're feeling bad. So I just eat healthy and um, do food as easy as possible And um, when I'm feeling bad. Don't feel like cooking or anything so make it easy and um that's what they say is you need to rest is the main number one thing so i've been mostly in the bed for three days um went to line dancing yesterday which is an hour and i couldn't do the whole hour i did about half um i stayed through it but i sat out half um, and line dancing is not high energy. I, I couldn't do it. Sometimes lately, and this is something new, sometimes my legs feel like they're going to give out on me if I'm on them very long or walking much when I'm feeling bad. I don't always feel this bad. I was doing good when I was in um, Las Vegas last week, um, nothing strenuous. I mean, the worst thing was walking through that Las Vegas airport. But um, I'll say it's worse than Atlanta. Maybe just because I know Atlanta airport so well, but um, all that walking up we had to do in there was horrible. Um, but I didn't go to the strip or um, I didn't even play a slot machine, none of that stuff. I didn't care. I just wanted to be with family. That's why I was there. They offered to bring me out like that, and I said, no, thank you. I just I don't have that kind of energy. I didn't care. That stuff doesn't turn me on anyway. Um, you know, I've been there before. I don't have that kind of money to throw away. Uh, if you got it, that's okay. I'm not going to judge you. But um, don't spend more than you have and know when to walk. That's all I got to say about that. Um, so I um, maybe I'll end it now. It's not long, but I'm tired. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. I know it's a drag. I'm a drag right now, but it'll get better. It's just these... Um, it's just getting worse, though, for me. Four years ago, when I moved here, definitely had a lot more energy than I do now. I'm declining. It's hard to accept um, that there's a lot of things I'll probably never do again, like have a boyfriend. Um, I can't dance much anymore. Um, anything is hard to do anymore. So, um, but I'm thankful I'm in a wonderful place and I will hang in here as long as I can. I hope I get to finish my story, um, kind of in the middle, a little past the middle maybe. Okay. Thanks for watching. Sorry it wasn't much fun, <laughs> but I hope you're doing better than me today. Maybe tomorrow I'll be better. I'm supposed to go to a dance tomorrow night at the clubhouse. Sounds like fun. It's always fun. But um, at this point, not sure if I'm going to make it. Okay, God bless.